In this video, you will learn more about your MyPPCC portal. This is what your MyPPCC portal at Pikes Peak Community College looks like. What we are seeing now is your dashboard. We've already covered Navigate under Student Tools. I will now go over all these different icons and what they do. I will later move on into talking about these tabs as well. If you click on My Schedule icon, Literally, it will give you a view of what you're currently registered for for the semester. It'll be your schedule. You can also see it under Navigate. If you register for online courses, you can access them by clicking on this icon here. If you decide to add or drop a course, you can do it through this icon here, but you can also do it through Navigate. If you have passed the drop, drop date deadline and you need to withdraw from a course, you would need to use this tool to do that. If you would like to see which classes will be available for the upcoming semesters, you can click here to see what will be offered then. After the semester is done, you can click on final grades to see what your grades are for that semester. If you click on Office 365, these are tools that we offer all of our students to be able to complete assignments, uh, or, or work on assignments for their courses semester by semester and they will save to the portal. So within Office 365 you will find PowerPoint, Word, Doc, Excel, things like that and it'll save to your portal so you don't need a USB drive or anything like that. After you have filled, filled out a financial aid application, give it about five to seven business days or about two weeks and then go ahead and click on this financial aid requirements icon to see if there's any other steps that you need to take to complete your requirements or your financial aid packet. If there is nothing for you to complete or you've already fulfilled those requirements, simply click on your financial aid award icon to see how much money you have qualified for through FAFSA. To pay your bill or set up a payment plan, click on this icon here, pay my bill. I encourage all students to select a refund preference using Bank Mobile. Bank Mobile is a third party vendor and they are in charge of distributing any money due to the student. So in the event that you qualify for financial aid, have military benefits and scholarships, and all your classes are paid, and at the end of the day, you are due to receive a refund, we don't send that refund, Bank Mobile does. So uh, please make sure you set up an account with them. If you've been living in Colorado for more than 12 months or are a military member, you can authorize your COF, in other words, College Opportunity Fund discount. You will need to do this every semester. If you change your phone number or move up, please update your information here in this icon as we do send important um, information and also oftentimes mail your um, diploma to you. So make sure you keep this current. If you decide to transfer to another university, any transcripts from PBCC, this is where you would go to request them to see where you are with your degree plan. In other words, how many classes you've taken, and how many more do you need to complete your degree? You can click on degree check. And here you will see your student email. This is where you will receive any communications from the college or where you can also use to email a financial aid advisor, your instructors, or other students here. If you direct your attention towards the top of the page and look at the student tab view, you will see a lot of the same information in a different layout. You will still find Office 365. You can still, still see your grades, registration tools. This is, however, where you will be able to see a detailed schedule with drop and withdraw dates. This is very important that you stay on top of because you will want to know how much time you have to decide to add, change, or swap classes without incurring a financial penalty. If you pass the drop dates for your specific courses, because your courses may have different drop dates, then you will be financial, financially with, um, responsible for them, even if you withdraw for the course. So keep an eye out on this um, registration tool um, where you can see your detailed student schedule. Um, scholarship management information is here. If you want to update your information is here as well. Um, things like that. If you look under student finance, as you would imagine, you will find everything to do with your money or paying for school, your bill, your financial aid, um, your college opportunity fund stipend, um, student employment opportunities, anything that has to do with money.
the Student Life tab is going to have all of the wonderful information regarding campus activities, services, supports, clubs and organizations. Anything fun will be through found on the Student Life tab.